Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so rook. No, wait, pawn. You know what? I've been at a stalemate for hours. But it would help if the pieces moved. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Hope all is well. So, uh, first, I must apologize for the delay in getting some videos out. I had a bit of an overtraining incident. Uh, doing a little too much working out. So I had to take a little break, let the body recoup. I had to put some good stuff in the body, and the body did some great stuff. Um, so back up at it, and back to it. Last time we left off, we did a huge contract. Our truck over here, well, speaking of truck, the semis, we still have a decision to make between this one and the Scania, Kenworth. But it performed great. So as you can tell, it's a little dirty. It's a little dirty, but that's not bad. Not bad at all. These trailers are fantastic. I think they're like, what, either 90,000 liters or 100,000 liters with both trailers. Phenomenal. Love them. Good, 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 good. All right. So today, what do we have in store? Along with that question, I know we still have the question of farm manager for the farm down the road. I think it's called the Elm Creek Farm. Um, yeah, for just kind of named after this whole place. Go figure. So still, like this is uh, about two days after that option for that. You now we were presented with that, that question. So still thinking that through. But in the meantime, I've been doing some thinking and I think what we're going to do do more contracts, of course, but I have a plan. I'm going to show you guys what we have in store here. Okay, so as you can tell, we put up our little app for the phone to look at contracts. You see these two contracts? They're ginormous, just huge. And the thing is, fertilizing, they give you the option of fertilizing with anything you want. So what does that mean? You have liquid, solid, slurry, or manure for both. They just want it fertilized. Now these are big fields. So field 30, that is 55.58 hectares and field 40 is 64.13. I think we just did that contract for that one. So yeah, that makes sense. As soon as we got that done, he's already planted something in there. It was that Mr. Miller here and Mr. Powell. But my plan is I think we just go ahead and get the equipment to do it and make this like a long term part of our business venture. Just doing all these type of fertilizing contracts. So if you look at our map, there are a lot of big old, a lot of big old fields. So what was that? 40? That's the one we did down here. Yep. And 30, which is up here. 30 is very close to, to Clever Motors. Okay, so yeah, we that's like literally right around the corner. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and accept both of those contracts. But we'll have to get the equipment first. Now, luckily, I've talked to our wonderful friends at Clever Motors. And I have an idea. Of, I think I know what we want to get. But first things first, we're going to accept them. We could just accept, you know, one contract. If you're doing this yourself and you want to borrow the items, so I would suggest borrowing that big old fertilizing machine right there for eleven thousand and some change, and then you can do both, and you will net like a hundred or oh, two hundred and was that two hundred ten thousand? That is a lot of money. But I think what we're gonna do, we're just gonna invest in equipment. We're gonna invest in a lot of equipment today. Okay, so yeah. Let me go ahead and accept both of these contracts. Make sure they don't slip away from us. Got that one and got that one. Okay. So those are done. Now we're going to head over to Clever Motors. Actually, we're going to take our truck here and we're going to hook up our trailer because we have a delivery still to do. That is on the docket. 
Now we use the uh, Kenworth K200 over there quite a bit. The 730S here, we haven't used it a lot, but we have used it a little bit. So I think today we'll try to use this one a good bit. And we have our wonderful trailer in the back there. Yeah. So we'll head on over to Clever Motors and we'll get ready. Starting out the day to get some of this stuff done. We'll see how the day unfolds. All right, we have made it across the street. So you see that big John Deere right there? That is going to one of the farms here in town. So let me go grab the keys. And also they told me they had another contract for delivery for us. So we'll talk to them about that. And I'll go ahead and place the order to get some of this equipment to do those two big fertilizing jobs. Yeah, we'll just make it a one stop shop. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this is what we got. So we're in the crop protection section of their catalog. I think what we're going to get, I've been looking at these. They're all fantastic. I really like this one. And I think I might get that at another time because this can do liquid in this tank right here. So liquid fertilizer as well as a solid fertilizer or I believe a lime also. You can carry them both at the same time. Fantastic machine, like great concept. So you can literally uh, do fertilizing and lime application or herbicide is probably better. Yeah, that's what I meant. To, yeah, I meant to say that too. So you can do your herbicide application and do a dry fertilizer all at once. Oh, that's great. So we're going to be looking at that probably in the future, but to do those really big fields, they recommend, you know, these for those and that has a 48 and a half meter working with this one has 27 meters. Not bad at all. 15 mile power working speed. This one has a 15 mile power working speed also, but I think we're going to go with something a little bigger. Now, if I click on this the price is similar. But the thing is, this has uh, interchangeable compartments on the back. So if I click on the combinations, you have those. But you need these equipment parts. They're not that bad. It's 1800 bucks for both of those. So that's nothing compared to everything. But in the future, I think we'll get this. That'll do the solid and also the lime. But this is what we'll need today for... Although we could do that one, but I think we're going to do that. What's the working with 42? Oh, a little bit wider for that, but 40, 40.2, 21 mile. Oh, speed is a little different. So 21 miles per hour is quite fast working speed for this. So yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. All right. So I think I'm going to place an order for this. Those uh, attachments to lift. Yeah, we're going to get this and let's get it. Let's go ahead and uh, tell them what we want, shall we? I think we're going to go with, I was looking at this already, so I kind of have a little of an idea. We're going to go with that dual wheel set up there. We want to get the front LEDs, perhaps. Let's see what do we have. One and two. I don't know what that changed, but we'll go with two. Uh, design. Yeah, we're going to do field view monitor. That's uh, the little monitor on the inside there. Get more information. We'll get some fenders. I think it's only going to cover the inner side. So they'll keep things a little clean if we're doing some dry application type stuff. So that's kind of cool. We'll keep that. Liquid system display. We're going to keep that for now. It does have the uh, dry box display, but we're going to have the liquid one installed today. But we can always switch it up. Okay. GPS, absolutely. So that's another 15K on top there. Yep. So that's what we want. So that's going to be 
eight, five, six. Whew. Yeah. So place that on order. And I told the, you know, wonderful people at Clever Motors, just go ahead and get me that and we'll pay for it in a second. So they tell them, give them a few hours. They're going to have it delivered and you'll see the money come out of our account <laughs> when that happens. No worries though. We're going to make a good bit of money back and we'll kind of do a little tally and see what we got. All right, cool. Now they did mention something else while we were in there. While they're going to be getting our sprayer and everything coming up very soon, they have a, another kind of word. I mean, they said it was a big delivery, something very heavy, a big excavator. And they want us to deliver it. Now this trailer will do it, but I want to get another heavy duty trailer. Yeah. This right here is the low loader that I think we would like to get the XL 2K22 low loader. Built tough. It is built extremely tough. Now this does some cool things and I'll show you when we are actually getting ready to move the thing that we have to move. I kind of keep it a surprise. Let's keep it kind of a kind of sleek, dark kind of color. But the main thing I want to get this for is you see all these wheels, all these axles, all that is spread out and that will help distribute the weight of heavy loads a lot better for towing. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and get that at 71K. Man, we're gonna be spending a good bit of money today. Indeed. So we got that. Now this has the dolly on the front, but our truck can handle it without the dolly, but at some point in time, we're probably gonna get the dolly too. Just be aware. All right, cool. Now, you did notice that Trident had a lift system. All right, and all that's gonna come when we get the get it delivered. But in the meantime, what I think I'm going to go ahead and buy, yep. We are just buying a lot of stuff today. I know we're going to buy a telehandler and we're going to get one of the bigger ones. So this is more recent, just came out not too long ago. And where are my telehandlers? Tell me out. There we go. All right. So I think what we're going to get is this, is it the 320? No, the 420S, indeed. We're gonna just go ahead and spec it out and get her done. So this is one of the more heavier duty telehandlers. Really, really great. I think we're gonna leave those wheels and tires and all that. We're gonna get this beacon which is custom for this particular one. In fact, we're going to get the beacon with the rear lights. So you see right there, the same, those activate with your brake lights and they have turning signals. And I think that'd be good you know, for driving on the road. Speaking of which, it goes 31 miles per hour. Not bad for a telehandler. That's that is rocketing for a telehandler, especially one of this size. So we're looking at 10.5 tons. Big old boy. Cool. Now front attachers, you do have the Q fit, but we're just going to keep it more of the standard kind of universal attachment, which would be good. I'll go through some of the wheels so you can see some of the things they have, but we're just going to stick with those standard ones. Uh, some of these does, you know, does come with some duels. So if you want to really amp up the lifting, you can do that. For example, tell me that does not look good. Look at that. That is awesome, dude. Yeah. But for now, we're just going to stick with Michelin. If we need to, we can always come back and change it. You do get a color choice if you want, but I like that standard color. And as I mentioned, you can even get the rim colors. Cool stuff. Very cool. But we'll keep it standard because it comes quicker that way. So we're going to go ahead and buy that right now too. Whoa. 119,350. Nice. So they just pulled those two out. Had them just sitting around. Very nice. Okay, now all this stuff is gonna be used a little later. First things first though, let's go ahead and make us a delivery, shall we? And the wonderful 730 Scania. All right, well, I'm also gonna do, let's go ahead and bump these side extensions out. Pretty much almost to the maximum. 
We'll disconnect that. Pull this off to the side. I did grab the keys for the combine. I'll leave our truck running. Let me go get in that combine. All right, look at it. Whew. Man, this is a big old combine. It is great though. The X9 1100. Whew, look at this thing. This thing is phenomenal. Okay. Let's head on out. Touchdown. Okay. Just made it here to the farm that we're going to be delivering this to. What's that say? Ravenwood Farm? Yep. Yep. Looks like it over there in the corner. So, yep. Right place. Now, we actually delivered some seeds here not too long ago, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Let's get those straps off. Actually do that and do that. Okay. We have it dropped and we shall disconnect that. Okay. Oh man, let's get this wonderful X9 1100 off the trailer. Easy peasy. All right. That delivery is a done.
So what I'll do now, I'll go ahead and hook up our low boy trailer here. And I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and drop this off at the shop. Yeah, because we have that other trailer over there. Let's get those retracted. Good to go. So I'll see you guys when we get over there. Dropping this trailer off and hopefully we should have our new equipment in there also. Uh, like I said, we still have a few contracts to do. All right. See you guys in a little bit. Okay, everybody uh, did. Ooh, well, there you go. We just had some money drop from our account. Three hundred and eighty five thousand four hundred thirty nine dollars. So, yeah, all of our equipment should be there. Now, I did have a thought that I might as well return this trailer because I don't think we're going to need it for anything particularly soon because we're going to be doing fertilizing. Um, Yeah, I think we've already had it for our day rental anyway, so. I'll disconnect the Kenworth there and hook up the Scania and take it back. Uh, hmm, I might give it. Well, no, we'll return it. Uh, I think we also have that other equipment that just uh, arrived, the, the excavator that we need to drop off. So, yeah, let me go ahead and uh, get all that situated and I'll see you shortly. Okay, I'm pulling right back into Clever Motors. Do we have equipped? We have a lot of equipped. Whoa, that is a big old excavator right there. I think that is what they want us to take. So what I'll do, I'll swing these trailers right around the corner here. And get them out of the way for now and let's go take a look at the stuff that we have over here okay so this is our XL trailer uh, 20k 22 it's our JCB telehandler this is our case IH 5550 sprayer and this is the sprayer part here so what we need to do, we need to use our telehandler to pick this up using these tools right here. So this part attaches to the telehandler. This part, that chain right there, connects to this hook. And this part lifts this whole thing. And that whole thing sits on the back of the frame right here. And we'll connect it with these pins. So yeah, that'll take a little bit of orchestration, but nothing that we're not used to. Uh, now this is big. I'm glad we went with a bigger trailer because I think our blue trailer, the low loader would, I think it would fit these tracks. They might be a little too wide for it. Man, this has to be close to like a hundred tons. So we did need something a little bit more heavy duty. Uh, let's see here. That's 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 big. The Liber 980. 
Man, that is a big old excavator. Look at the size of the undercarriage, man. Goodness. Okay, so I don't want to keep the customer waiting for this big, uh, big old gigantic excavator. So what I'll do, I'll go ahead and take that over to the delivery point. And then we'll come back and get our equipment and do the two fertilizing contracts. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay, so the real cool thing about this trailer, I'm gonna block the road a little bit because we are, yeah, we'll just pull into the unloading zone here. We're not gonna be there long. They know us here. Let's see here. But the cool part about this trailer, in addition to it being able to just carry tremendously heavy loads, is that if I, Take that down. You can do a couple fantastic things with this. First thing you can do, you can make it wider. Not only that, you can elongate it. So that platform right there is very wide, very just a massive loading platform, right? For most of your loading needs. As you can as you can tell our uh, our excavator here is quite the wide boy so we're gonna probably gonna bring this in to about there and maybe about there we'll see how that looks loaded all right oh man this thing is gigantic sounded like 12 engines <laughs> just all crunk up simultaneously. Okay, let me get familiar with these controls a little bit here. Okay. It's a little different. Uh, but, hey, we can, we can operate it. Alright, let's cut that on. Make sure nobody's around. Activate our crawl mode kind of here. Yeah, that's about perfect. Okay, we'll throttle down and uh, strap her down, and we shall be off to the races. We'll go, ahead, we'll go ahead and get our customer this this gigantic thing here. <laughs> All right, straps, and last thing but not least, we'll get our two ramps up, and we'll cut on our beacons. I do love those beacons on that trailer. All right, wonderful people, I will see you when we get over there. Do a little montage of us just driving over there, I guess. See you in a little bit.
Okay, we are approaching the destination. Okay, they said they had some more equipment up here. They said just, you know, part the big excavator by the little excavator. Oh, they do have a few pieces of equipment up here. And this is a nice piece of property. Hmm. I wonder what they're trying to do. Maybe they're trying to... I don't know. Don't know. They have a lot of digging equipment. I don't know if they're mining for anything, perhaps. Hmm. Could be. Regardless, let's get this uh, 980 off and parked right where they would like us to park it. Which is right there. Cool. <clears throat> okay. Whew. Man, this thing's gigantic. In case you're interested, it is 99.5 tons. So yeah, let's just go ahead and say 100 tons. That's a lot of machine. All right, let's lift that up, shall we? Okay, and I'm gonna spin this around. We're gonna exit driving backwards. Well, tracking backwards anyway. But because our cab's facing that way, that'll be forward. Okay, we'll throttle down and... Wow. I mean, that's a... Uh, I don't, this doesn't have a model number on it, but... Uh, yeah, you can kind of see the size difference there. It is a much bigger excavator than... That's kind of an average, typical size excavator there. Just the boom itself, look at it. The arm sticking boom, you know, that massive. This bucket, I can probably put the... You can probably put that whole truck in that bucket cool stuff though all right um yeah job done so what they'll do the customers for this particular job they'll go talk to clever motors and pick up the keys because we're going to drop those off with them um, all they needed to do was deliver it all right and the cool thing about this trailer also when you're not loading anything or you know hauling you can tuck it up very nicely All right, wonderful people. I'll see you guys back at Clever Motors. We'll get that uh, contract. Still very early in the day. We'll get those contracts done, too. Okay, so we're pulling back around to Clever Motors here. Let me see if I can get into this side entrance right here. Should be able to, no problem. Yep. All right. Now... I don't think they'll mind us doing all this uh in their yard here yeah i don't think they would mind too much uh it could be a good demonstration to show what this equipment is all about all right so yeah let me let me run into the shop here 
and ask them, do, do they mind me taking a few minutes just to assemble a spare body onto the, uh, the trident body here? Yeah, we got everything. We just got to attach it all. Shouldn't be a problem. All right. And I'm gonna also grab those keys. All right. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, that took a little longer than expected, not because of the question I had to ask them, but because of the questions that were posed by somebody in the shop. So apparently, I, I guess the guy, I forgot what name they said the guy, but some guy, he was giving me the fifth degree about delivering that big excavator and where and what are they doing with it? I told him I'm not privy to give that information to him. No, that's our customer's business. But I said, I couldn't tell him what they were doing. I, the only thing that we were contracted to do was deliver it. Strangely enough, he said uh, he's going to hire me to do rock moving, rock removal, debris removal. So he, he said, come back later today and he's going to give me some coordinates. According to him, there are a lot of boulders that need to be moved. And a lot of tree limbs to be trees, tree trunks. I don't know. I don't really have a good scope of what he wants, but he he offered a lot of money, like fifty thousand dollars. So. I was a little hesitant to say yes, but. You now, I talked to the, the folks in Clever Motors. They said that, yeah, they know him. You know, he's harmless. They don't know why he's so excitable. So curiosity kind of has my 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 ear on this one. And I'm kind of curious as to why he's. So anxious. And wanting us to do this work like ASAP. And why he was so curious about the delivery of the big excavator. So. Yeah. OK, well, the thing that we're actually supposed to do, let's uh, let's get. Get our new toy <laughs> assembled. We got the batteries included and everything. All right. So uh, let me go ahead and get that done and I'll see you guys in a little bit. There we go. Took a little persuasion, but we got it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do. It's not the best demonstration. We'll do like that. There we go. And we'll disconnect that. Next time I'm going to perhaps get a crane or something a little with a little bit more reach. Okay, we'll probably load this up on our trailer and get that out of here. So that should, yep. 
Got those pins all lined up, and good to go. Not too bad. The only thing I would recommend is probably getting something with a little bit more reach or height, like a crane or something to, to lift that on. So looking to, to that into the future. But regardless, I did want this telehandler. I think it's fantastic. We got some stuff to do with it. It's heavy duty. All right, we'll take this back to the shop and we'll go ahead and get onto those two contracts. It's getting later in the day and I just need to get those done by today. Shouldn't be too bad. Okay, well, next thing's next. We need a trailer to offer, to offer field support for our uh, sprayer there. So let me go ahead and get into their catalog and let's see what they have. Okay, so they have the tanks, Tanker Senior. I think we'll utilize that. Uh, we are doing fertilizer, so it has that right there. Let's see, nifty, very nifty. I do like, oh, like this fuel gauge here that you can easily see much uh, liquid type that you have in there. Let's see, let's get some beacons. I don't really need this stuff because I'm not buying it, but um, we'll get it for now because we're just gonna rent it. Fill indicator, yeah, we, need, we have that. Uh, let's just make it azul because that's like the fertilizer color. And we'll do like a nice, Silver steel for the wheels. That looks cool. Okay. Um, I think that's all we need. Let's see. Let's lease that for 4,000 bucks. That's nothing at all. We're going to be needing it quite a bit. So we'll do that. And they told me a good spot to pick up some bulk fill fertilizer. Uh, now you'd think that would be a counterintuitive, but they do realize that it's easier to bulk fill for the amount of fertilizer we're about to be doing. So they gave me a good address. So I'll go drive down there and I'll see you in a little bit once we're starting to fill up some stuff. Also, I'll just have this wonderful thing here, track over to the first field with a worker. So let's see here. We're gonna go to fill 31st. <laughs> Get that 31st and 42nd. All right, so we're just gonna have our worker probably track to about right here since we're right there. Set destination, yeah. Okay, we're gonna hop out while that's going. Whoa, bad idea, bad idea. <laughs> oh, that thing looks so cool going down the road. Well, steady there, partner. All right, so I hook up our tanker that we rent, rented here and I'm gonna fill it up with, it has 50,000 liters. I'm gonna estimate, man, probably 40,000. We'll start with We'll start with 30,000 for that field and the other one, and we'll see We'll see how we get with that. So yeah, I'll see you once we get over to the, the new spot for bulk materials. See you in a little bit. Okay, we are on the way on route to that little nice hookup that Clever Motors gave us. 
Hmm. I need to check and compare the prices because you should get a discount for bulk purchasing. So we'll look into that shortly here. See what the prices are like. Should be better. Okay. Oh, there we go. We got a whole little courtyard here. A little sell points and... Yeah, we got two purchasing silos over here. And also a sell point and a sales station over there. Cool. Very nice. We'll have to add this to our regular stops. Maybe we can uh, sell some things over here, too. All right, let's try to line this up, shall we, with... I think with this particular tank, you have to open... Yep, you got to open the top there. We'll pull up under here. All right, so let me do a little comparison really quickly for liquid fertilizer. Oh, we're on it. There we go. Okay, let's see. So both of these spots. Oh, that's really cheap over there, but that's that's part of that farm. But we're looking at these two sell points here. 900 bucks each for a thousand. You could be really sneaky because uh, you could sell at a sell everything point and make quite a bit of money. That is way up there. But we're looking at the selling portion over here. So let's say 900 for per liter there. Now, if we looked in in the catalog for Clever Motors, 3,000, oh, for that's 2,000. So let's say, what's that, 1,600 bucks? So we're literally saving 700 bucks per liter by getting it in here. Okay, so that sounds like a good deal to me. So they really are our friends. So I think we said we're going to get 30,000 liters. Let's see. That's close enough. 28,000 bucks. Okay, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. All right, so this is going to be our... Oh, look at that. Look at that icon on the back. Pretty nice. And there's your little fill gauge that shows how much liquid fertilizer we have. Cool. So let's go get to field 30, I believe, and we'll go ahead and start doing some work. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, that is field 30 and we are approaching it. It's right across from our yard over here. And what do we need to do? We'll fill up the wonderful, wonderful case sprayer right there oh man that thing looks so good and our helper helped us a worker helped us to get that over here let's see oh yeah this is a nice sprayer man I really like it very quick uh, working speed and all let's see I think fill points on the left side over here ah there we go cool And we'll just fill this up and we'll take the uh, we'll take the, the truck. We'll park it kind of midways. Yeah, about midways of the of this field. How much does this hold? I didn't even look. I looked, but I didn't retain, I guess is a better better word. So six thousand. No, five thousand three hundred. OK. Nice. Oh, it sounds good. And what we'll do, we'll go ahead and unfold that. And while that's unfolding, we'll get our truck here. The Scania, which has been phenomenal. It's not really an off-road truck, but we're going to have it do a little off-roading here. And we'll tuck it right over here. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be in the way of anything. All right, cool. Let me jog back down here. There we go. Okay, back in the old Trident. So I'll go ahead and do a headland and uh, yeah, just do a little time lapse. So sit back and enjoy and I'll see you guys later. Probably when we're getting ready to finish this field and we'll jump into the next. 
I'll give you any updates along the way of anything interesting, of course. That fertilizing? Yes, it is. Let me get this up to full, full speed. And that's 22 miles an hour. We'll drop the boom on the back a little bit. Let's angle that down a little bit. And the other side, we'll angle that like that. All right, wonderful people. We'll see you when it's all said and done or any, anything interesting happens. Let's see you in a little bit. Okay, coming to the end of this particular contract. It was not painful at all. This sprayer has been phenomenal. I really, really like it. And let me uh, swing back around and get some of this area I missed a little bit here. I'm doing this little maneuver. I typically wouldn't but it's kind of an odd shaped part of the field. So I'm kind of like swinging back in on myself and everything, but no worries. I think we can get most of this right here. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm not gonna worry about that little sliver too much. And as we get down towards the end, we'll start to taper the spraying with a little bit. 
make sure I got that right. Yep. So we're bringing down the working with just a little bit every time. And we're going to have maybe 50% left, which is good. We still have, uh, I forget what we have left in that trailer over there, but we'll look in the tanker. Yep. All right. Phenomenal. Amazing machine. Really like it. Okay. That one is done. So what we'll do. Oh, one other really cool thing about this. I think mo well, a lot of sprayers, but you can uh, actually spread out the wheels to distribute the weight a little better as well as get to your specific row width or you know crop distance or whatever that distance is which is amazing awesome just to think that real machines do that that's cool it's so cool all right so let's see what we have here so we look back in here we'll go to our contracts page field 30 complete and we shall collect that it's $100,000 in the bank, and let's go over to field 40. And what I'll do, I'll hire a worker to follow us as we make it over that way. All right. Let's see what we have left in here. We have 19,000 liters. Uh, I don't think that's going to be enough. But you know what? We'll... Uh, We'll do what we can for now. We'll see. We'll see how much all of that brings in. All right. How about that? Let's see here. Let's hire a. Okay. Got a worker. There we go. And we have a vehicle. Well, a couple vehicles waiting here. Let me see if I can let those buy. Go buy first. Give us some more. Uh, room to work okay let me just see if this are you coming along yep they are coming along all right we'll see you guys when we get over that way All right, so we're at the field. Um, I'm not going to do a headline on like the parameters on that one, just because you know th there's a lot, lot at the top and bottom of this field just to you know spin around and whatnot. Even though I just parked pretty much right in the way, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I think we should be okay. Yeah, if I don't cut off my tractor, 
that also help. Here we go. Let me go ahead and just fill this up and see how how much a uh, a row or a run will consume. Yeah, this is really easy peasy work though. I mean, really fast at 22 miles an hour, and what is it like 40 meters, 40.5 meters spread? Oh man, this is this is a dream of a vehicle. Now, one thing I would like to do is get uh, a different telehandler. I really like the one that we purchased, but I think I'm going to get a either a telehandler or a crane that can lift up the back body quite high. A crane would be cool. I have to see if something is compatible. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, well, we'll go ahead and get on this, and I'll see ya when we're we're done.
Okay, we are coming down to the end of this contract, and it has been relatively painless. Yeah, this this fertilizer sprayer is amazing. Like it really is. Like it just cruised right along. Didn't have any major anything. Yeah, I really like it. Get a little in cab view here. You heard the jets just turn on. We'll just do a full stream, make sure we don't miss anything on the last little bit of the field here. Yes, indeedy. Now I'll bring in the working with a little bit there. Yeah, we're down. Let me drop that a little bit too. Hmm. Last little bit, everybody. Last little bit. We are done. Look at this gigantic thing fold in. We'll bring in the wheels also. Oh, we're already in. Okay. Now, you saw probably in that time lapse that I went and got... Oh, there's already some paint coming off this thing. Hmm, interesting. But you saw I got some extra liquid fertilizer there. And now we have 16,000 liters left over, which ain't too bad. I probably got like another three or four, so we probably had about 10,000 left over anyway. But that's not, not horrible. All right, so let me go ahead and accept the funds for this particular contract. That one is done. We don't have anything major popped up either. So that's 120 smackaroos. Yes, indeed. Now, uh, of course we have to factor in the, the cost of you know, our wonderful sprayer here and also renting this particular tanker. But you know, overall, I really don't think it's that bad. I think we'll start to actually be in the green with another hundred thousand dollar contract. I didn't do the math, but uh, it's probably roughly two hundred and fifty to two hundred and seventy k that we invested. So we just need one more big contract like that, and then we'll be back in the green. And I think they liked everything we've done for these fields, so I'm I'm counting on some repeat customers here. Not only these fields, I mean, th I think we did two of the bigger fields because we did 40 and we did 30, but we still have 32, 36, 35 is pretty big, 39. I mean, those are all big. 18 is big. All of the fields are big. <laughs> it looks like not everything's big, but, you know, we have some smaller ones in the center of the map. 46, that's another big one. 50 way up in the corner. I mean, all those are big fields. So 32 just looks gigantic, doesn't it? Oh man. Like they didn't even finish planting it. Like it, whew. regardless, uh, I feel that this was a good move for our business. So in the future, we'll definitely be utilizing that sprayer quite a lot to do more of those contracts. The truck did very well. It is dirty. What time is it looking like? It's about 11 o'clock. What I think I'm going to do is take an early lunch. All right. So all in all, a good day. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to drive our equipment back over to the shop. And then we'll get a little tally for the rest of the day here. So we'll see what we have. And also get a plan together for that crazy customer that we just talked to about. You know, he was inquiring about us hauling that excavator so we'll probably do that after lunch and that'll be in the next episode 
But for now, uh, see you guys over at the shop in a second. All right, so back at the shop. Uh, let's get get that guy out of here. That helper, and that will be an episode for today. So we got a lot done. Uh, we spent a lot of money, but there's a lot more to come. I think, like I said, I think that's a good investment for the future of our business. That sprayer is it performed phenomenally. Uh, huh. It does need a bath. All these things need a bath. So in the next few episodes, I'm going to be bathing all these bad boys. This also is fantastic. We didn't get to use it much, but I have plans for it in the future. This trailer. Fantastic. Also, everything's fantastic. You know what else is fantastic? You guys. Okay, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, hope you have a good rest of your day. And take care. We'll see you next time. Later.